Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series laptop. This one is a model 3505, the regulatory model is a P90F004, that information can be found inside the laptop, on the box or on the sticker on the bottom of the laptop. In this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open up your laptop, how you can clean and service the thermal paste on your CPU, GPU, and the clean up the fan. You should be doing your own maintenance every year, year and a half, depending how often you use the laptop. You don't have to wait to, for it to get really hot. So you be like, you know what, it's not holding, the fan is making noise, now I gotta do it. You shouldn't. It's like having your car and you should do your regular oil change. Same thing goes in here. This is not a benchmark to compare between thermal paste, temperatures, it's just a sample servicing laptop and you should be doing this if yours is really running hot and it's shutting down because of overheating then you won't want to service it and that way you can the laptop will last longer all right first thing first just remember once you do a servicing maintenance you're not going to change any configuration inside the windows all is going to be the same so first thing first power off flip it upside down and i'm going to go over the tools i'll be using and all the tools are in the video description in case you want to purchase yours Tool number one, a very important one, is an iFixit screwdriver set. So I use this one because they have all the bits that you require and they are really tough and steel and they will last you many years. So we're going to be using a Phillips number one. And if you get the Pro set, they will include you opening tools, tweezers, and a few other stuff. If not, for the opening tool, I will recommend you guys grab a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You might need a curved tweezers, it's good to have, if you don't, it's okay. A uh, plastic rod, spatula, or wooden, that's another one. Uh, another very important one is a workshop towel. I recommend you guys to grab this workshop towel. These are very, very important, and the reason is for the next tool. It's a liquid, it's an isopropolic or isopropolic 98 or 99% alcohol. Don't use any 90, 75% or pharmacy alcohol. And the reason for the towel is that I, people say, can I use a microfiber towel? No, you can't. And the reason that we use this one is because once you put alcohol on top and you want to clean the component, the capacitors on the motherboard, this one will rip apart very easily and will not damage the motherboard. You can use a napkin if you want, a tech napkin. That will be good too. But I really generally like this workshop towels for the servicing. All right, with all this on hand and the main part is the choosing your thermal paste if you want to go over the board overkill go with thermal greasy why not these are one of the best thermal paste out there but for this laptop i recommend you guys go with an arctic mx4 or the new one mx6 those are really really good in this case i'll be using an arctic mx4 all right now we're gonna start removing all the screws down here, we're gonna remove all the screws except the screws back in the corner. So leave this one for the last, because I'm gonna tell you the reason for it. Remove the two back sides and four in the front. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the comment areas. Appreciate that. Now that we remove all the screws, the reason for the screws in here that we didn't remove is because the screws, they have a, something called a C-lock on the other side of the screw that will prevent the screw coming out entirely. So once I start rotating this one, the C-lock is gonna help you to separate the case from the palm rest. So watch this. Just rotate, rotate, until you see the gap and Few more rotation, you're gonna hear clicking. So once you hear a few clicks, just stop. If you don't stop, you're just gonna get tired and fall asleep sometimes. Do the same thing on the other side. Just rotate, gap, down, and you might wanna stop. Once you did that, now you wanna grab the opening tool. You wanna stick the opening tool about two or three millimeters inside the case, and then you wanna peel it up like this, do all around in the front, on the side, Go in the front. If you hear those big click sounds, those are the clips that are getting loose on in here. Those are tiny clips that are right there. Uh, so do that the side and the front only. There we go. 
Now, you want to grab it from the corners here. You want to work it like that and lift it up. And there we have it. Also, you can grab a little dusty. Uh, a used or new toothbrush to clean up the dust mesh in here and blow some air and clean the dust mesh right in here. And down here, we can see the heat sink and the battery and the fan. Really simple. First thing first, before we do anything, we're going to disconnect the battery. To disconnect the battery, you want to pull this paper over and you want to put your fingers on the side of the battery and then you want to slide it back and put it to one side like that. All right. Next, I don't like pulling this jack. With, I don't can have a big fingers. I can read, reach to the jack for the fan to pull it backwards. So what I do, I'll use a tweezers to put it on the side of the jack. And then I slide the jack back and I can disconnect it right there. Okay. Once we disconnected the jack, if you don't want to remove the heat sink, you can leave it. If you don't want to touch the thermal paste, you can clean the fan by removing two screws. One screw right there. And one right screw right away here. So two screws. Now you can lift up the fan, bring it to here and take it outside, use a toothbrush and clean up the fan system. You can blow some air through here, use a toothbrush. You can clean the bottom here. And if you see dust uh, held in here, you can just remove the dust, use a toothbrush and clean it. But I recommend you guys to do next step is to remove the heat sink by removing four screws. These screws have a seal lock. So you just have to do a few rotations. Now you can just lift it up, bring it up. Okay. I think they exaggerated on the manufacturing with the thermal paste. And this is why I always say, don't worry about it. if you put too much thermal paste. It's not conductive and it's not going to harm the laptop. So first we're going to put alcohol on the towel and we're going to wipe the heat sink right here. I don't like how they have an aluminum here and they have a copper right after that. The heat doesn't transfer over the aluminum as good as the copper. But yeah. And now we're going to wipe over the CPU. So you see the towel is ripping apart because of the capacitors on the side. You don't have to go on nifty about the capacitor, cleaning the capacitors. You don't need to as long as you clean the crystal diet of the CPU. Few more than fine. You don't need to go all around and clean everything. Also, some in models, they do have a GPU right there and they might have a bracket right in here. So you have to unscrew and clean it, clean the GPU. This one doesn't have a GPU, only the CPU based. So clean it. Use a dry part towel. Do a second pass, dry pass. Grab the thermal paste, put a line on the CPU, just like that. You don't need to put too much, but I'd rather put too much than put too little, just like that. That's fine. Now you can bring this one over, align it. Once you put it down, do not lift it up. Put your finger on the middle, softly on, you don't push it. And you want to cross screw them. Do one in here and the second one on the other side. You can follow the numbers that are right on, the, on top of the CPU here. This is number one, two, or you can do three, two, four, one. But as long as you cross screw them, that way the thermal paste will spread evenly over the CPU. There you go. Put the fan, slide the fan under the heatsink. Put the two screws for the fan. And always make sure that you connect the fan cable. Bring the jack right in front of it. And squeeze it right in there. Once you're done with that, all you want to do, you want to grab the connector for the battery. Make sure evenly straight in goes inside the connector. Don't put it sideways in. has to go evenly in. Once you have it in there, pinch it in there, and you're done. All right. Next step is to grab the bottom cover that you cleaned. Put it right on top. And you don't want to squeeze anything. It's very important that before squeezing any side down, just screw the corners and watch the cover getting pulled to itself. 
on the left and right. Once you tighten up this screw, now you can start pushing on the back side. You want to hit those big click sounds on the side, on the front. Those are the clips that are getting snapped into its place. And to finish it off, just put the bottom screws right on top. And also, if you guys like this video, you know what to do. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll power on the laptop so you guys can see that it does power on. And just remember, because we disconnected the battery, it might take to 5 to 10 seconds or 15 seconds for it to boot up. So don't panic. I'll power it on and I'll just wait for a few seconds and I should get at their logo. I start flickering on the screen and there we have it. Now it's loading up the window. And that's it for today's video and this is how you can clean and service your Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series laptop.